It's there you can say anything, Sally. Thanks, Silver. I need to ask you of something. Okay, tell me what is happening. I am still feel sad that we lost our friend Rose. It's there a reason why you did something say to her? This is all my fault. It just, every time Rose and Skyle are fighting against white skin guy named Kemsey and evil Lolly because what they did to all of us and my whole family. I am so sorry for what I have done to my little cousins. I shouldn't have tell them to stop trying to be a hero. And now they have made more darkness members of the evil forces. It doesn't matter Silver, since we're alive by your grandma Rosalina Elizabeth Taller, we need to put it end of this. You're the leader of Rebellion Group, we have to stay focused what we are doing. Please Silver, you have to make it right, for your cousins, for your family, for our friends. I guess you're right, Sally. Together we can avenge for my family and our friends. Guys, we have a problem. Um, what is it my sweetheart? One of the Templar orders as known as Sigma Team, and the evil forces has kidnapped the boy named Caillou. What? Those darkness bastards, they erase his memories, and they're going to kill us. Okay. What did Caillou look like? Caillou has a hair, black coat, red scarf, black pants, and black shoes. Well, we need to make it quick before they're going to hunt us down. So, you must be Caillou Anderson, right? Yeah, how did you know? I heard about you, you're on your first mission about stealing the Skull of Eden. Okay, I see why you came to our castle Satari, what do you learn? I've been created by the darkness, because the heart of Nintendo princesses and the counterparts. Princess Mela and the Troublemakers was the one who kidnapped them and created them. What about you Caillou, what did you get here? Well, when I was waking up, I don't know how I got there while tied up in chair. So, this is why the Sigma team erased his memories, so they made him become darkness. Because if Caillou gets his memories back, something is terrible happens to him. Caillou, Satari, I want you two to come over. Come on Satari, Natalie won't be waiting. It's something you need, Natalie. We have a problem, our evil forces guards have found out a black coat with a mask is alongside with Prodigy Child, Silver and his friends are attack our soldiers. What? How could they do this? Prodigy resistance should not be allowed and trusted, they're useless criminals for ruined our goal to control the whole world. I have to agree with you, but what should we do? I want you two to go out here, and found those friends of the Prodigy Child. Their name is Sally, Alex, Sting, and Silver Teller. Alright, we can do that, come on Sahari. This lady wear white and red jacket named Charlotte de la Cruz. 
She was an American assassin recruited into the Brotherhood in 2015 and a former employee of Malta Banking Corporation. She participated in the hunt for assassin renegade Joseph Laurier alongside assassins Galina Voronina and Cody Adams. As the granddaughter of Erudito leader Florencia, she was also instrumental in securing an alliance between the Hacking Collective and the Brotherhood. Did she already die when the building was starting to collapse? I heard that Kyoshi and the other fled although Charlotte was stuck behind. Yuhani Otzelberg then detonated the facility remotely outside, Kyoshi tried to stop him but was struck to the ground. The assassins were unable to rescue Charlotte, and she perished in the explosion. Damn it, here is one of the friends of Prodigy Child. Listen Charlotte, I know that you've been killed in the explosion while the building is starting to collapse, you got to be more careful this time. I know, the piece of Eaton has brought me back alive, but I want you to keep the Shroud of Eaton away from Templars, they will steal at what happened back in 2017. Right, good luck. Since you rebellions are joined Prodigy Resistance, I want you to guard the building. Yes, yes ma'am. Looks like Charlotte had this place guarded, we we'll have to sneak in. Or, we can wear some fancy outfit to enter this place. We don't know how to access. Here is the invitation that Natalie gave me. You see this? Jeez, Satari, did you really have to do that? Okay, can't bring anything in the party, because the guards are taking security real seriously. Alright, ready to go inside? Sitari, the dress, you look beautiful. <laughs> Why thank you, Caillou. Come on, let's go in. Invitation please. Here, just both of us. Okay, to be sure that weapons are not allowed in party, let me search you. Okay, you're clear. Come and enjoy the party. Okay, Satari, we're in. Charlotte could be somewhere in the party, but people joined here, and we don't have to draw attention. Attention everyone, Mrs. Query have a speech to say. Thank you, allow me to say this. For hundred years ago, I was to be joined by the more experienced Tom Stoddard. However, our planned meeting went awry when Templar agents arrived at the rendezvous point before me. Stoddard did not fall for their ruse and easily dispatched the two men, while I took out a third attacker that had been trying to sneak up on my fellow assassin. I then introduced herself to Stoddard, who quickly blamed her for unwittingly revealing their presence in town, as the Templar agents had known the watchwords for the meeting. We decided to release Dorothy Osborne and the mute boy David, actually my son, from their cells, after the former promised to show them the artifact's location. However, Dorothy merely led the group to an empty room, leading Stoddard to grow agitated and threaten her. In response, I admonished him, reminding him of the creed. As the group heard the sounds of an approaching moth, Dorothy's eyes turned white and me appeared to become possessed, repeating the last words of Stoddard's father. Stoddard concluded me was the piece of Eden they were looking for and readied himself to defend me and the others from an oncoming wave of attackers. Wow, I never expect that was her speech in years 1692 when she already died. Alright Caillou, we're going to change our mind and kill Nurse Jennifer Query, since she was cloned by Prodigy Child. Alright, 
We're in the party, so stay out of trouble. Are you Anderson? It's been a while ago when you have arrived. Yes, you know I am here. I know, you here to do an evil force's job, since I've been retired from Assassin and working for Prodigy Child, I guess my time has come to end. Yeah, I'm sorry you have to come like this. I understand how you were doing, Caillou, I understand. I'm sorry, requiescat in passe. Attention everyone in the party, Jennifer Query had found and killed in the theater room. Found the murderer. Call the police to inform who responsible for the murder of Jennifer Query. Damn it, the guards have found the body that I killed Jennifer Query. You need to get out of here right now. I'm outside waiting for you. But the new Donk City is completely locked down during to the death of Jennifer Query. Come on, we can't use portal here, follow me. I see how you made your way out, Sahari. Well, at least no one will notice you about killing Jennifer Clary. I've been training my fight in years ago. And what did you do in you training? I choose to become one.
Your Majesty, I didn't met you about what happens at the City of Angels, what is all about? I was there to take down Templar's orders in Brigmore which is for trying to take over the city, they gonna corrupt everything for the darkness. And I see why your sister's training you like this, what happened? I was born by my family who are called, Prodigy. My cousin's name is Rose Taller, she is middle child of my family trifecta. She inherits elemental powers as well as the Samaramagram, a sacred force of energy that was passed down from her ancestors, and mine. She is often referred to as a child prodigy, given the fact that she is a child that was born with these special abilities but resents the name prodigy, alone simply because it gives off a vibe of bad luck and tragedy as her mother and grandmother sacrifice their lives to keep Rose safe. She is the alternate universal rendition counterpart of Rosie Anderson. The whole world was turned into wasteland by the forces of evil names at Okimoto, he has killed my family in long time ago, like 14 years ago, my father was killed by the leader of the evil forces named Kendra, and my mother was killed to sacrifice to protect me due to fighting Kendra's final form and saving the earth. I lost my family, my parents, my cousins, they're gone. My brother Jason Miles has saved the whole world by stopping Mrs. Grey for taking over Kingdom Hearts. Your brother should realize that inside the door to City to Angels, and you was running to the door trying to close it, you with us the whole time, so is my sisters Mikuru and Akane. And the Collins sisters named Keegan and Mia. It's been one years ago I've been caught by the darkness, it makes me... older... adult. It means, the time for the Keyblade Master to face his destiny, has grown nearer. You're not alone, Mr. Miles. We're here for you. Okay everyone, it's time for bed before morning. It's going to be alright, Tom Miles, Sean will be training you in the morning. I just wanted to make sure my family, Cooper, Keegan, Mom, Dad, and Melody Collins are safe. Will you promise not to tell my brother Jason Miles about what happened? I don't want him to know that was I'm gone. Don't worry Tom, Prodigy Child will always made a promise not to tell. Good night, my brother. Good night, Tom.
Look, I'm on TV.